You saw us tetracize that steering column a couple of episodes ago, and now we're going to do the same with the rear end. So we're going to take some measurements off the original RA24. We're going to shift the original mounts around on this A86, make some stuff happen, and bolt her up. Just realized I was wearing my Mazda Speed jacket in the opening, so I went and got my Toyota jacket. Just for, uh, just for you, Vim fam. And my Toyota people, you gotta keep them happy. So let's go look at some Toyota parts here, Moose. So these are our two rear ends. This is our original RA24 rear end. Come on in here, Moose. And this is our A86 rear end. Uh, there's really two solutions to fixing the rear end for this kind of an engine swap. One is, and it's not really, you could run the, the stock rear end if you want to, but if you want rear discs, one way that guys do it is to swap the axles and the flange over so that you can run A86 rear discs on the RA rear axle. There's some work involved in it though. You have to modify this flange and so on. And it doesn't come with a limited slip differential. So the advantage of going to this A86 rear end is when you get the GTS model one like I have, you get an LSD from the factory. You get a, uh, a slightly different size spring perch, which is uh, a more common size, so it's much easier to get springs for the rear of this axle. And you also get a slightly wider track. So I believe it's uh, 40 mil wider than this, so 20 mil aside, which will work well for us since we're gonna run fender flares in the rear. So we just decided we would go to the full A86 rear axle swap rather than trying to rebuild this one and make it into what we wanted. But to swap this on, because the, the mounts are in slightly different locations, you can see here, Moose and I did some uh, fancy mats, and uh, you can see the, the lower outer mounts are a couple inches wider apart than they are on the stock axle, and the inner ones are also slightly uh, wider apart, so we need to reposition these brackets on this A86 axle, and for that we've gone to our friends at Excessive Manufacturing. These guys seem to make everything we need, including these lower brackets and these upper inner brackets, as well as a bracket for the panhard bar. So we, we, in a perfect world, we could very carefully cut off the original brackets and reposition them if we wanted to. The problem with that is one, the metal's getting kind of old. Two, when you cut it off, it may not clock properly, it may not sit properly, because you never get a perfect cut. So in the end of the day, it's better off to replace them. The nice thing about the stuff from <coughs> Excessive is that the actual metal is considerably thicker. Mm. So you've got a lot, lot more material here yeah. So it's going to be stronger and stiffer. Yeah. Also, they built into it a bunch of adjustability. Yeah. So we can help tune the suspension for anti-dive and anti-squat, I should say. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll be cutting off this upper mount, replacing it with the updated mount. We also have a new lower mount. Same deal. It's a lot heavier material. Yeah. And we've got three layers levels of adjustment, which is really really nice. Yeah. Gives us some ability to set some anti-dive in. Squat, but yeah. Squat, dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Same difference. <laughs> Uh, you can change the rear suspension uh, geometry three. basically with, with these different points. So where the lower arm comes in, so we can yeah. play with the geometry if we yep. need be. Nice thing too is, this is the original uh, shock mount, and it sits outboard a fair bit. Yeah. What this does is you, you might have issues with tire clearance, so this has moved inboard considerably. Yeah. What this does is one, it adds a bit more strength. Two, because it's bolted directly or welded directly to this, we can actually go to a coil of a conversion, yep. you're not going to lose strength. And it gives more tire clearance. Right. Combined with the fact we got a brand new heavy gauge steel, it's gonna make it much, much stronger. Yeah, absolutely. I like the idea that we can uh, gain wheel and tire clearance because we like big wheels and tires. I mean, here we're probably gaining uh, maybe an inch and a half at least. In that location, and it's gonna be, I think, a little bit more inboard. I believe we move it inboard. For the, for the RA position, so yeah. And this guy here is for the pan air power, right? Same deal, again. This original is a piece of really light gauge stamp steel welded top and bottom. The replacement is welded on all four sides. Very, very beefy. Yeah. Again, less deflection, uh, less motion. Yeah. And again, it's just a really nice piece. So the challenge now is to remove all of these old brackets and then figure out where to put all these new ones on, right? Exactly. I mean, the biggest challenge is, is cutting the weld away without cutting too deep into the actual body of the axle. Yeah. Uh, keeping it as clean as possible. The actual uh, location of these clocking and position, we'll take measurements of the of Connie's original. Yeah. Um, once we figured out the offsets, yep. we will then basically transfer those to here yep. and get them welded up professionally. And now it was time to unleash the beast with the death wheel 
with no safety guard on it because, you know, this is moose. Nothing's going to hurt a guy this size. Then it was time for some grinding action to take down what was left of those brackets. Can't you just imagine Moose working in a sweaty steel mill in the 1800s? Looks like Moose has finished one. I have. Uh, because the RA24 is, sh these shackles are an inch and a half narrower than the 86, I failed, I did not have to completely grind down this more because I'm yeah. moving inboard. That's the original location. Yeah. I'm moving inboard, so I'm perfectly It'll clear. Straddle that little hump there, yeah. Exactly. Perfect. So yep. we're pretty much good to go on this one. I have to do it five more times. Well, four more times, I think, right? Yes, four more times, yes. <laughs> Many more times. Moose is not good at math when his hands are still vibrating from uh I can't from feel my hands anymore. Stuff off, so well, before that, let's uh, let's have ourselves a little uh, proper cup of tea, a shall we? Cup of we? tea, yes, we shall. Jolly good. I don't know if you're supposed to toast with a cup of tea or not, but, but we um, will because we're Canadians. We are not. For, we're not limeys. For queen and country, after all. Yes. Very good. Cheers. Jolly good. Carry on. Mmm. Mm. Lovely tea. Mm, that's Lovely. a delicious brew, gentlemen. A delicious brew. Very, very good. Now, uh, what do you say we finish it off with a cookie, huh? A big yes. mm. biscuit, yes. Mm. 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 Cookie. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Ha! Ah. Bye bye. Do you see the steam rising off Moose there? What a machine. He definitely lived up to his nickname as the antlered one on this one. But hey, I'm not going to complain. He knocked out a massive job for me while I was off enjoying Christmas with my family. Thanks, big guy. All right, Moose has something important to say here. I do. Uh, there's two sets of measurements we need to be able to transfer from our stock Celica rear end to the A86. One is the spacing off center of the upper lower shackles and the pan hard. The second is the rotation, because when you, this could be welded on a bunch of different angles. Right. So what I've done is we've set a baseline. So the one thing that's common between the 86 and this axle is the input flange. So I set this at 90 as a baseline. And now I can go over here and measure this. Yeah. So now I know that the difference is 38 degrees. 38 degrees. Yeah, yeah. So I can then, then, now we know that the rotation of the two uppers is 38 degrees. I'll do the same thing, I'll rotate this, get the rotation out of the lowers, make my measurements so we can then transfer it across, make the marks on the A86 axle. Right. And then tack them in place, double check, and then weld her up. Well, I should say that Vin will weld her up. Yeah, yeah, the, the orange race cars in the background is the indication that we are at NV Auto. Vin, our fabricator, who got chirped on the internet, <laughs> but whose welds were perfect, people, simmer down. Marked in the center line here, so we can take our measurements out from there, I guess. Yep, offset from center, but since the axles are different lengths, right. um, we can't do an outside in, which right. is a bit easier, so we're gonna do a center line out, since again, that's the baseline for both. Right. Ultimately, we wanna make sure that all the new brackets and everything maintains the same center line on the A86 as is from the original. That way, it'll actually bolt up to the chassis. Moose is setting up the uh, 86 axle now. Just uh, shimming it up so that it's got the pinion angle in the same position as the RA1 was. And then we can start transferring these, <coughs> excuse me, these measurements over. Almost died. Moose has this one pretty much ready to go in position, but he wants to just fix the fit a little on the... Trying to get a nice tight fit here on the tube so that Ben can weld her up. Your anger is misplaced, and I'm gonna tell you. Don't hate me because I get attention. Don't turn me into what I'm not. I have to be me 24 7, and I ain't never gonna stop. All right, I'm back from daddy duties. Moose and Vin have been knocking it out here. Looks like our pan hard hookup is in place. 
Oh, Moose is rotating it all sciencey like There's our lower ones, all welded on, nice and pretty. Other side, more of the same. I think we're ready to go. We just need to uh, maybe throw a coat of paint over the welds just to uh, prevent everything from rusting, right? Yep, until we final finish it. So, so uh, two thumbs up to Mr. Moose. Actually, mostly Mr. Vin. Well, you did all the measuring. I did the measuring. Then did all the, the melting of metals. And Desmond did all the cheerleading. Good job, Des. You gonna say hi to the internet? No. No. <laughs> what about you, Dub? You gonna say hi to the internet? <laughs>Quick side by side comparo here. Our modified A86 rear axle with excessive brackets. As you can see, brackets visually appear to be in the right locations. I think you guys may have pulled this off. I don't know how they did it without me, everybody, but uh, miracles do happen occasionally. I think we need another VIN high five here. Thanks, buddy. I don't know. You're rocking it out. <laughs> that was a clumsy one. Moose, you got a high five too. Back in my little hovel with the moose. What do you think, buddy? I think it turned out really, really well. I mean, about a half a day of grinding to remove the old mounts, a half day of welding uh, by Vin at NV to get uh, the new mounts welded up. Turned out beautiful. Um, super happy. All the, dis all the dis additional uh, adjustability, yeah. additional strength built into this. So we're gonna do a quick test fit here with the dirty old links, but I do have some adjustable links coming. So we'll show you those in a future episode, but uh, before that, we gotta drill a couple holes out to fit the bolts through, eh? Yep, a, bit, a little bit of fitment here, and then we're good to go, test fit, and, and we'll be that much closer to uh, rolling status. Just trying to get the top links bolted up here first, and uh, as you can see, we're using the upper hole, which uh, should lower the diff a bit, which is good for spacing from the chassis when you lower the car with uh, aftermarket shocks and springs, which we'll be doing, obviously. So that's why we're test fitting off of that hole. Plus, frankly, it's just easier to get the bolts through in those upper holes. Uh, anyway, so far so good. Upper links is, the upper link is bolted in on this side. And now this side. And it looks like Moose got his side in too. Yep, so that was always good. It tells me that we're welding our brackets in the right places. Yeah, good so. start. All right, let's see if we can get these lower links on. Yeehaw. There we go. Look at that. Bada boom. Bada bing. So, look at that. She's sitting all there. All four links connected. Yep. Time to hook up the panhard bar maybe, and then... Uh, panhard bar, and then... Uh, we can throw some shocks in just to hold it in place. Look at that. That is an A86 rear axle on a 77 Celica. It all lined up thanks to Moose and Vin. And you can also see a quick teaser here of our Fortune 500 rear shock. We will show you that whole rear setup in great detail next episode when we finally turn this thing back into a rolling chassis. Progress people, we are making progress. All your progress are belong to us. Beep bop boop. How are you gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. You are on the way for destruction. What you say? You have no chance to survive, mate, your time. Ha ha ha.